Hi everyone, this is my MacBook Air M1 connected simultaneously to 12 devices thanks to this docking station from Ivanki. This docking station is called Fusion Dock Max 1 and it has two Thunderbolt 4 chips inside it and it's the only docking station at the time of this video that has this technology. So it supports four displays at 4K and more at 60 Hz. More on this later because it has some limitations depending on the version of Mac you have. By the way, this docking station is compatible only with Apple Mac silicon chip. So it's not compatible with the Apple Intel or with a Windows PC. And it also has many other ports like USB-A, USB-C, TF card, SD card, and audio outputs. I'm gonna show them to you up close now. And also I'm gonna show you how to connect this docking station and we'll be testing it with the drives that I connected to it and with the resolution of the 4K display. As a full disclosure, I wanted to tell you that Ivanki reached out to me and sent me this docking station free of charge to test it. But the opinions you're gonna see in this video are only mine. No one reviewed the video before I posted it and I wasn't compensated to make it. That being said, let me show you first what comes in its box and then we're gonna tackle the other chapters. Let's open the box. This is everything you get in the box. You have the docking station, the power brick, a good quality HDMI cable, the USB-C cable that connects to your Mac and to the docking station, some Velcro tapes, the user manual, rubber feet to put on the bottom of the docking station in case you need to put them. And this is a quick start guide. Let me show you now the ports of this docking station. So this is the front of it. You have here an SD card slot, TF card slot. This is a headset input output. So it is for the microphone and also for your headphones and for your speakers. These are two USB-A ports that can go up to 10 gigabits per second. So they are 3.2. And these here are two USB-C ports and they can go up to 10 gigabits per second. This one provides 20 watts of charging power and the, all the other USB ports provide 7.5 watts charging power. And these here are two ports, USB-C ports that can go up to 40 gigabits per second and you can connect your displays to them or also data devices. On the back of the docking station, so this is where you connect the power and this is a Kensington lock and this is where you connect your laptop. So it is always better to connect both USB-C cables to the laptop and at the same time they will charge your laptop also and these two ports here are USB-C they can go up to 40 gigabits per second and here you can also connect two displays to them and these are two HDMI 4K 60Hz 2.0 ports this is a LAN that is 2.5 gigabits per second this is USB-A 10 gigabits per second SPDIF optical output and two USB-A ports also that can go up to 10 gigabits per second and this is here a speaker output. Now one thing to mention about the number of ports and the documentation they say it has 20 ports but I counted them and recounted them it has only 19 ports. Now I'm gonna show you how to connect it. So to connect it to your MacBook you need to use this cable that is provided. This part of the cable here goes into the MacBook here like this. So it is a WSPC cable. You plug it in like this and the other two ends of the cable go here in the host laptop so you connect them of course like this and I said I wanted to talk about the limitations of the display connections so I have a MacBook Air M1 and this one can connect only one external display so for instance to be able to connect two displays you need an M2 Pro or a MacBook Pro M1, M2 or M3 and if you want to connect four displays you need a MacBook Pro Max whether it is M1, M2 and M3 so this is not a limitation of the docking station per se but it's a limitation of the MacBook when you don't use a docking station that uses for instance the display link technology so if you use a display link docking station you can break this limit and you can connect more than one screen to your MacBook Air M1 laptop and by the way, Ivanki have these kinds of docking station that are display link docking station. And also I reviewed other models that have also the display link technology. You can check the links in the description below. So now I'm going to connect the other ports and they are straightforward. The one thing here that is a little bit out of the ordinary is that I'll be connecting my 4K 60Hz display 
using USB-C to HDMI cable. So this will go here. And now I'm gonna connect everything else. And now that everything is connected, I'll be powering on the docking station by plugging it to the power. And this is also something that I don't like very much. So it doesn't have an on off button. Every time you want to turn it off, you need to unplug it from the power. What I want to show you now is how the display can go up to 4K 60 Hz using the USB-C to HDMI connection. And also I'll be playing a video on this display first to see the quality, it's a 4K video. And then also to test the speaker's output of this docking station. So this is a display here displaying now in 4K and you see it is 60 Hz. So you can reduce the resolution so that to make the text bigger, for instance, you can choose this resolution or any other resolution. So here I'm gonna keep it on 4K so that we test the video on it. So this is a 4K video. I'm gonna bring it full screen and let's play it. We're gonna also notice the sound coming out of the speakers. These two headphones have so the sound the is coming out of this These speaker. And everything and is working HD. good. What I want to show you also are the drives that are connected to this docking station. And this is a very fast external SSD. It is in an enclosure that is limited to 10 gigabits per second. I connected it to the 40 gigabits per second port on the docking station. So I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna copy this 6.24 gigabytes file to it. And we're gonna see if it copies it very fast. And let's see in what speed it will copy it. And it is really, really very fast. So I've been using this Ivanki Fusion Dock Max 1 docking station with my MacBook Air M1 for the last months. And I wanna give you my honest opinion on to what users this docking station is geared to and also how I find it and if I recommend it. So first of all, if you are a MacBook Pro Max user, this docking station is very good for you because you can benefit from the four displays that it can support. But if you are a MacBook Air M1 and also you have a chip that is not Pro, this docking station is an overkill in my opinion, unless you want all these connectivities. And by the way, the USB-C ports that are labeled here, display ports, they can also be used as data ports. Now, that being said, this docking station is very well made and also it dissipates the heat very good. It can be also put like vertically if you want it and horizontally and its speed is very good. And I didn't face any problem with it while I was using it for the last months. The only two criticism that I have about it is first that it is a little bit expensive. And the second one is that it doesn't have a power on off button. If you want to check out this docking station, I'm going to leave an affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you. And this will support my channel. I want to thank you all for watching. If you liked my video, please share it. Subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.